my name is Fabiola. Today I will be reading to you pages 9 and 10 uh, of The House on Mingo Street by Sandra Cisneros. When I saw this book uh, on the list uh, of uh, challenged books, I was surprised because this is one of the books I read in high school and I was very connected to. Coming from a Hispanic background and coming from Mexican parents, I was able to really feel what Esperanza was feeling throughout the book. I will be reading the first chapter because you can see in this first chapter where Esperanza is feeling lonely and Esperanza is feeling out of place and I know we have all felt out of place at one time. Also you can see where she is uh, wanting to call something home and I know we've all had that portion of our life that we want to call something home. So here we go, the house on Mingo Street. We didn't always live on Mingo Street. Before that, we lived on Loomis on the third floor. And before that, we lived on Killer. Before Killer, it was Balina. And before that, I can't remember. But I would, what I remember most is moving a lot. Each time, it seemed, there to, it seemed there'd be one more of us. By the time we got to Mingo Street, we were six. Mama, Papa, Carlos, Kiki, Sister, Nanny, and me. The house on Mango Street is ours, and we don't have to pay rent to anybody or share the yard with people downstairs or be careful not to make so much noise, and there isn't a landlord banging on the ceiling with a broom. But even so, it's not the house we thought we'd get. We had to leave the flat on Loomis quick. The water pipes broke and the landlord wouldn't fix them because the house was too old. We had to leave fast, and we were using the washroom next door and carrying water over with empty water gallons, empty, empty milk gallons. That's why Mama and Papa looked uh, for a house. That's why we moved into the house on Mingle Street, far away on the other side of town. They always told us uh, that one day we would move into the house, a real house, that would be ours uh, for always. So we wouldn't have uh, to move each year, and our house would be would have running water and pipes that worked. And inside it, it would have real stairs, not hallways, stairs. Not stairs inside like the house uh, on TV. And we'd have a basement and at least three washrooms. So when we took a bath, we wouldn't have to tell everybody. Our house uh, would be white with trees uh, around it, a great big yard and grass growing without a fence. This was the house Papa talked about when it, he held a lottery ticket and this was the house Mama dreamed up in the stories she told us before we went to bed. But the house of Mango Street is not that way. They told it all. It's a small red with ties that steps in the front and the windows so small you'd think they were holding their breath. Bricks uh, are crumbling in pieces uh, and the front door is so sullen that you have to push hard to get in. There is crumbling. There is uh, no front yard, only four little elms in the city planted uh, by the curb. Out back is a small garage uh, for the car we don't own yet and a small yard that looks smaller between the two buildings on either side. There are stairs uh, in our house uh, but they are ordinary hallway stairs. The house uh, has uh, only one washroom. Everybody has uh, to share the bathroom. Mama and Papa, Carlos and Kiki, me and Nanny. Once we were living in Loomis, uh, a nun from the school passed uh, by and saw me playing out front. The laundry mat downstairs uh, had been uh, boarded up because uh, it had been robbed two days before and the owner had painted uh, on the wood, yes, we're open, so as not to lose business. Where do I live? She. Where do you live? She asked. There. I point. I said, pointing up to the third floor. You live there. There. I had to look uh, to where she pointed. The third floor. The painted peeling wooden bars Papa had nailed on the windows so we wouldn't fall out. You live there. The way she said it made me feel like nothing. There. I lived there. I nodded. I knew that I had uh, to have a house, a real house. One I could point to, but this isn't it. The house on Mango Street isn't it. For time being, Mama says, temporarily says Papa, but I know how that goes, how things go. So like we can see, um, she is feeling out of place. They also paint a beautiful picture of how you can picture this house and how it's holding its breath and how it's keeping everything in. And I hope you guys were encouraged to read this book and to know more about Esperanza.